Ever wondered what those large square panels on the side skirts of T-72S and T-90s battle tanks are? Ever notice those small boxes all over the turret of the T-72AJ? Those are explosive reactive armor, or commonly known as ERA. Yeah, you heard it right, those are explosives. Now you must be wondering why would someone mount explosives on the body of tanks unless one has the intention to blow it up? How can some explosives act as armor? We will answer all these questions in this episode. Explosive reactive armor is a type of armor that is used in modern tanks and other armored vehicles to protect them from projectiles that employ shaped charged warheads. An ERA is extremely effective on heat and HESH rounds. It also protects the vehicle from APFSDS rounds up to some extent. However, some APFSDS rounds with tungsten or depleted uranium cores are able to penetrate most of the modern ERAs. Explosive reactive armor is a peculiar type of armor that uses explosive charges to defend from other explosives which are fired at it. So let us understand how it works. To understand how explosive reactive armor works, we have to first understand how the shaped charge explosive works. The heat rounds usually use the shaped charge principle. The most common threat to armored vehicles is the RPG. These RPGs work on the shaped charge principle. The shaped charge warhead consists of a conical cavity with a metal disc. When the warhead explodes, a jet of molten metal, usually copper, at very high temperatures is generated which penetrates the armor. The jet melts the armor and pierces it just as a knife cuts through butter. This jet of extremely hot metal often kills the crew. If the crew is lucky enough to survive, the jet can also hit ammunition and fuel to blow up the entire turret. So how do the modern tanks defend themselves from these warheads? Most of the well-protected tanks like the British Challenger, American Abrams, German Leopard and Indian Argent use composite armors made of high-strength materials like depleted uranium. Often these armors are covered by explosive reactive armors to complement the armor's protection. So now let us understand how the explosive armor works. A typical explosive reactive armor consists of plastic explosives like C4, sandwiched between two metal plates. These are mounted on the top of the regular tank armor. When the warhead hits the upper plate, it ignites the explosive. The shockwave created by the explosion scatters the molten metal jet away. The upper plate flies in the outward direction and thus helps in scattering the molten metal jet. The ERAs are often mounted on the areas which are most likely to hit, like the front part of the hull, the entire turret, side skirts, covering the tracks, etc. ERAs are extremely useful in urban warfare, where the RPGs and other anti-tank missiles carried by the infantry soldiers pose a maximum threat to the tanks. So the explosive reactive armor is explosive mounted on the tank's body. But why doesn't it damages the tank? It's because the energy is directed outwards and the shockwave is not that huge to kill the crew or damage the tank. The entire energy of the blast is dispersed radially outward. But still, to use explosive reactive armor, the tank must have adequately thick armor to protect its crew from the blast. However, ERAs pose significant threat to other infantrymen near the tank as when an ERA explodes, its upper plate breaks into fragments which are lethal enough to give fatal injuries to nearby infantrymen. The ERA panels can be easily observed on the T-72AJ. The box-type structures mounted all over the turret and hull are ERA panels. These ERAs were developed indigenously by DRDO's Hemeral Lab. These reduce the penetration chances of heat and other shaped charge missiles by 70%. These are also immune to detonation by small arms fire. The MKI version is used on over 1400T-72S. DRDO has also developed MK2, which acts as a substitute for imported contact 5ERA. The large square panels on the side skirts of T-90 and the tapered structures on the turret are also ERA panels. T-90 uses Advanced Contact 5 ERA. The technology of Contact 5 was transferred to DRDO under the transfer of technology. Argent Tank ERA is a reversed engineered version of Contact 5. So this was all about explosive reactive armor. We hope you enjoyed the episode and learned something new. If you found value in what you watched, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and hit that notification bell to never miss an episode. Until then, take care, stay awesome, and see you in the next episode.